everybody, it's Crystal. Welcome to my channel, Bag of the Crochet, where we talk about anything that is crochet or yarn related. And if you are new or a returning friend, um, remember to always look down in the description box and I have a playlist with over a thousand crochet tutorials, all free for you to enjoy. Um, and I continue to put the add to that uh, playlist all the time. And as always, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out. Now today, we're going to talk about some yarn. It's a pretty yarn. My, my. It's going to be some pretty yarn. Now, I don't know if you're familiar with Stinley. Stinley has some mighty, mighty fine cakes of yarn. Some of the prettiest cakes I've ever seen have come from Stinley brand yarns. Now, I purchased this from the from um, Pleta Yarns. I will put the link below in the description box. It is located in Bulgaria. So this came from Bulgaria. Um, I paid for DHL Express shipping. Um, she does have a different type of shipping that is a little bit less cheaper. But shipping is expensive coming from Bulgaria. So I just wanted to give you a heads up on that. Um, but otherwise, let's go ahead and open it up. I'm super excited to see. I didn't get like tons of cakes because as you can see, it's a small box. The shipping was quite a bit of money. So let's open it. I don't know why I'm using safety scissors to open it, but let's get some sharper ones. Oh yeah, that does the job. That does the job. Um, so okay so that's written in another language that i cannot read so i got my invoice up on screen here and when you go to the site the site is set up in euros now the euro currently uh is 10 it's 10 10 22 um the is um the so when you see the price it'll be just a little bit less in u.s dollars okay because uh so I'll, uh, I'll tell you the price in euros, but just remember it'll be, you know, a few cents less than in U.S. dollars. It's not much, but a little bit less. So it's, you know, the price will be pretty close to about the same. Um, but anyways, let's get into this. Oh, how beautiful, how beautiful. Oh, look at this. Okay. Oh no, they're wet. Why are you wet? I know why they're wet. I know why they're wet. I don't know why they're wet. It's DHL. The shipping companies went downhill. No offense, DHL, but. <laughs> oh. <laughs> They're just wet. They they got uh I don't know what it's from, why it's why it's wet as it's humidity, I guess, but it's on the outside of the plastic. So let's begin, shall we? Sorry about the DHL comment. They didn't really go downhill. May, maybe a bit, but I'm sure they'll do better. <laughs> Anyways, so this is the pudding. Um I'm actually making something out of a pudding cake right now. A purple purple one, but look at that. I had to get this one. Had to. The pudding cake is very pretty, but it is a fuzzy type of yarn. So it's more of like a. I'm going to take all these out of the bags. I like to keep them in the bags, but since the bags are wet, I can't keep them in there. That's okay. The pudding cakes are, uh, like I said, they're a little bit fuzzy. So not a lot of people are going to like that fuzz. But they're made up of three strands and I'm working with it right now at home and I noticed that it runs to be about a DK weight, a lightweight number three. It's 30% wool, 10% mohair, 30% acrylic, and 30% polyacrylic. 750 meters per bobbin or, okay, call them bobbins, bobbins, I like that, um, 640 grams. So 750 meters is probably seven. I don't know, 850 yards, 860 yards, something like that. Look at the gorgeous transition in that. I love brown, and I think that that it is a very pretty coral pink in the center there. 
Now let me give you a price on the pudding cake. Pudding, pudding, everybody loves some pudding. So this was 14, 12 euros. So a little bit less um, US dollar wise. Let me tell you real quick. I'll tell you this one and then you can probably get the gist of um, what it is for the rest of the time. So 14, 12 euros at the moment <clears throat> equals $13.70 US. Not a bad price. But the shipping is very is pretty expensive, so you got to calculate that in there. That's so gorgeous. It's just so nice. This would be, and I'm making something very nice, but it's more of a winter yarn. I would take it more of a, of a fall or winter yarn. But it's so pretty. Oh, the color. Color. Color number. They got lots of colors. And all of them is called color 589. <laughs> All right. Ooh, this one's wet too. Come on now. Oh my god. The box isn't wet at all. That's weird. And you know what? It probably isn't even DHL. It's just got wet <clears throat> because it's inside this box and they're inside these bags. So, but my yarn is not wet. So, it's not a big deal. It's not DHL's fault. It's not the yarn company's fault. It's the weather. I'm blaming it on Mother Nature this time. This is a donut. This is similar to the pudding as far as being a fuzzy yarn. But you can see that it's like it got a tweed effect. See that? Look at, the, look at that gradient on that. That's beautiful, beautiful yarn. <clears throat> if you're wondering what this is here, in that center pool, this equals probably, uh, probably about a four weight. The donuts do. Between a DK and a four, I'd say a four weight. But... They, some of them have these center pulls where you're supposed to thread your uh, yarn through there. And then because it's made up of multiple strands, it won't come apart while you use it. I don't use the beads, but or the little, these little beads, but some people do. Um, but anyways, isn't the colors of that one gorgeous? So let's read about the donut. The donut. I love donuts. And these are so much, so much better from my bottom side than a regular donut. <laughs> okay, these are 50% cotton, 10% mohair, 20 wool, 20 acrylic, 900 meters, which is equivalent to about a thousand yards, 550 grams. That's so pretty. This actually is only made up of two strands. It's got one, a thicker one, and then it's got a thin, uh, fuzzy one with it. That's probably a yeah, that's a thicker DK. That's beautiful. So the donut is color number four, or 84302, and it's 1634 euros. So, it, you know, it's probably going to be 15 some US. Maybe the upper 14 some. I don't know. Mmm, smells like factory. I got a lot of pink. I think it was, I was just in a pink mood. I, I don't know. <laughs> I like pink. Okay, this one is a little wet, so we will take it out. Mother Nature, wetting down my yarn. No, but like I said, it's just the bag. It's not, it's not anything. The yarn's not wet itself. All right. This is called, okay, this one was the most expensive cake I bought, and I've never had this cake before. And I wanted to try it, even though it did, uh cost quite a bit okay look at that <clears throat> i'm gonna have to keep this one this is called stinley silk candy it's 75 percent cotton and 25 percent silk it's very nice i could tell that it's going to have a beautiful drape on it um it's 400 grams um i think it says 900 meters which should be equivalent to close to a thousand yards. The color is 3787. This is the silk candy. Isn't that a beauty? So I'm going to look at the weight on this one. Some of these get thin and some of them are not that thin. I'm going to give that a, probably a DK, DK calling. You could call that what you will. I'm pretty sure most of you probably agree with me that that's probably about a DK weight. Nice. I'm going to use this. 
Oh, that feels so good. I like this one. Okay, so this one was $22.36. It was an expensive cake. Like I said, it was the most expensive one that I bought. A little bit less U.S. dollars. It was probably around $20 bucks U.S. Um, but I think that given the cost of some of the cakes that you buy at a hobby, <laughs> this one's less expensive. But then again, you do have to factor in the shipping. So maybe it's about the same. But it is gorgeous. I like that the silk in it makes it, you could tell it makes it very soft and that it's going to drape quite well. Yeah, so, I, you know, I always say I can't keep all these, but I'm definitely going to keep this one and probably that pudding cake. That pudding cake. I don't know. I have a hard time partnering with my Stinley sometimes. <laughs> oh, I got a Christmas. Is this for Christmas? Maybe not. I don't know what this is. No, this isn't Christmas. I did get some Christmas with this. Maybe it is. I don't know. Okay, I've never had this one before either. Muffin Magic Drops. It's oh, gorgeous. You know, it might be Christmas. I'm not sure what the deal with the pink is. If that was white. That'd be gorgeous Christmas, but as it stands, it still would be a pretty Christmas yarn, I think. Christmas shawl or something. Um, yeah, I love that gold in there. Oh, it almost, that, oh, okay. This one is 80% acrylic, 20% lurex. It's got 1,100 meters, 330 grams, so you're talking about 1,300 yards probably here. Let's check out the... weight on it so it's made up of three strands and then it has a separate strand of the sparkle which is the lurex together they're probably equal in a light three weight like probably like a regular mandala you know how there are three weights are really light that's probably what that's equal and that's doable for me look at that sparkle in there that is a gorgeous yarn wow I love Stinley so much. I wish I had more money and more time. More money to buy them and more time to use them. Because using one of these takes me quite a while because um, they make such beautiful shawls. Alright, this one is Muffin and Magic Drops. Color 55565. It was twelve eighty four, so remember that's a little bit less U.S. dollars, probably eleven something. So, good deal. You know, it almost makes up for the shipping. Really, I'll tell you the truth: the, sh the shipping was just about the sa same as the yarn. <laughs> so, if I paid, say I paid like eleven fifty for this, you could probably double it um, because of the shipping. But I did pay for the DHL Express. So, she does have cheaper shipping, so it wouldn't be quite as much, but it still was kind of pricey, so. But still, even at uh, $24, that's still cheaper than Hobbies, really. Hobby from Denmark, and it's so much more pretty. Now that I think about it, and I add the shipping up, I'll tell you here, I'll tell you really. My total order was $128.50. 54 cents and my shipping fee was $115.88 so that's right about double pretty close but remember I did pay for fast shipping it did get here in about four days um it was sent DHL um so if I'm doubling the price of the yarn it's thinking about it like that it's really not that bad it's still cheaper than hobby like I said that makes me feel that's my way of justifying paying $115 for, sh for shipping. That's how I justify eyeshadow and shipping. It's worth it. It's worth it. It's worth it if you do it that way. I paid, with shipping, about $22 for this cake. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous cake of yarn. Lots of yardage. Beautiful, beautiful. And it's still cheaper than Hobbies. I justified it. I'm fine with it now. I am cool with that amount of with that money that I paid for shipping. Now wait till you see the best. Now this is going ah, to be my Christmas shawl. 
I'm gonna make a Christmas shawl with this one here. They always package it nicely with the ties and whatnot, but like I said, this yarn, Mother Nature, made it hit some humidity somewhere between here and Bulgaria, so it got a little, I'm gonna take them out of the packages. But none of my yarn was harmed during the process. This is Stinley Muffin Drops. It's different than the one I just showed you. This was Magic Drops. Muffin Magic Drops. This is just Muffin Drops. There was no sparkly magic. But there are little dot magics. Ooh. Isn't that going to be a pretty Christmas shawl? Let's look at this one. Muffin Dots. I love it. I love muffins too. But dang it. They go straight to my behind. Just like the donuts. And just like the pudding. Just like the cotton candy. Just like all these. These are much healthier, you know, more fiber and whatnot. <laughs> it is 70% acrylic, 30% polyester, and there are 1,160 meters. So you're looking close to 1,300 yards of yarn here. What a beautiful, a large, crisp shawl. I got to go back. I got to get some more yarn. Now that I justified that shipping price, I mean, this is just unbelievable pricing for this. So again, this has the... Uh, bead there that you can uh because it's multiple strand the yarn if you want to put it through that bead it's supposed to help you be able to crochet with it like i said i could crochet mine without that i don't need bead so this is what it looks like it's made up of three let's see what we got here let me look closely and i want to tell you wrong we got let me set it down for a second i'm sorry okay we got four strands of yarn um and one of them has the poofs on it. So let me hold it up here so you can see. So there's three over there. And then there's one over there with the poofs. The little poofy balls are about a, exactly about an inch apart. And they go all the way through it. And they're all, all the poofs are white on this one. And very Christmas is this one. Um, together, I'm going to say, if I had to take, no. They don't really give you weight, so I'm only giving you my best guess, and I'll show you two so you could kind of give your best guess. I'm going to give that a DK weight, too. Possibly, probably a DK, yeah, three weight. Maybe even, you know, a thicker three with those little dots. It's workable for me. I love it. What a beautiful Christmas shawl that'll be. People ask me sometimes, if I'm talking too much, I'm sorry. People ask me sometimes if you start from the center of the cake or if you start from the outside. Normally, I would start from the center. But sometimes if I make shawls, and um, I like, actually, it really depends on the cake. I like my shawls, the bottom of my shawls, to be at, um, most of the time, the darkest color. So if my shawl would start from the top and work my way down, I would start from the center on this one. But if I had it, if I was making a shawl that started from the bottom and worked its way up, I would start from the outside with this one. I guess it really depends on the cake, but generally I like the darkest to be in the, on the bottom. That's just a personal preference for me. But this one right here, the silk candy, I would probably start uh, the top of the shawl with the dark. For some reason, I just think that, you know what, I don't, I don't really know. I guess it would depend on the stitch I was using for this one. But generally that's what I do. So, in case, you know, people ask that, me ask me that all the time. All right, let's move on. Oh, let me tell you how much the muffin was. The muffin, the muffin, $12.72. So, probably around 11 something U.S. Counting the shipping, probably like 22 What a deal. What a steal. I'm still justifying that shipping. <laughs> Here we have a cotton cake. These are very pretty. Um, I've had these before. I've never had the pleasure of working with one because they are lightweight. These are nine twenty to a cake. Um, and it is <clears throat> one hundred percent natural soft cotton, one thousand meters, so eleven hundred, eleven hundred and fifty yards. And let's see what we got here. This, you know, this one I might start. <laughs> I don't really know. 
I don't know if I'd start at center or not. It also has the uh, bead there that you can use if you want. I don't know why this is a one strand. It's about a two weight yarn. It's very pretty. It's very soft. And I love the colors of it. That would make a beautiful shawl. It's very lightweight. It might be pretty enough for me to use it. Like I say, I can't use lightweight yarns. They hurt my hands a lot. But sometimes if I find one that's really pretty, I'll use it. This one is very, very beautiful. And it is the month of October. I just don't, for a breath, you, I could, you know, I could make something for breast cancer awareness. But I don't think I could get it done fast enough. Because I have a couple other things on my hook at the moment. But that's okay. I can make it any time. All right. I don't have a lot left. You guys are probably like, gosh, too much, too much. All right, this is the candy cake. Candy. This is pink again, pink and purple. Okay, these. this is color number 801. Sorry, the cotton cake was color number 320. The candy cake is color number 801, and it was 881, so probably about eight bucks US. That's gorgeous as well. My, 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 that's some pretty yarn. It's very similar to the uh, other yarn. Um, this is 100% soft cotton, 900 meters, so close to a thousand yards. And again, it is a two weight. It does say, it. this one actually does say it's a two weight on it. Um, you can machine wash these, but they do recommend not putting them into the dryer. Some of them do have washing instructions and some of them do not. The ones that have washing instructions, washing, washing, I usually say where I live. Uh, it's not really where I live. Just me and my mom. We always say wash instead of wash. People sometimes don't like that. So I try to say wash correctly. But if you ever hear me say wash, that's how I really say it around my house. <laughs> but I try to say it correctly on camera. Um, the ones that do have washing instructions, they all say that you can wash them. But they need to be lay flat to dry, which is understandable. That's pretty cake. Yeah, that's a two-way too. Okay, I got three more in here. Ooh, a cotton star cake. It's not pink. It's not pink. I remember seeing this and thinking, I gotta get this blue. Blue's not a color I know. I love blue. It's not a color I normally do all of my stuff to, but this one drew me straight in. It reminded me of the galaxy. Look at that. Oh, wow. Now that is a pretty, pretty cake of yarn. The Stinley. Cotton star cake. Oh, wow. So this is, you can machine wash lay flat. Uh, 90% natural soft cotton, 10% Lurex, which is the um, silver. Got about 270 grams or about 1100, 1150 yards. It has the bead. It has one solid strand and it appears to be about a two weight and then you can see that strand of Lurex there. It has the bead that you can put your yarn through to kind of help you crochet with it. Just drop mine. But I want to use this. But that is a light, that's a lightweight yarn. That is so pretty. I'm going to put that bead back on here. Look at the shades. You can hardly even see the shades of blue because of all the sparkle. It is heavily, heavily, heavily sparkle. But it's got uh, dark blue, like navy, then it goes to a royal, and then it goes to this light blue that you can see on the outside. So it does have a three color change and it's super sparkly. I imagine that would be a gorgeous night on the town shawl. You'd be sparkling in the moonlight. It's a gorgeous cake. I don't know whether I'd start that at the bottom or the top. I'd probably start that on the outside and make the dark hit the hit the bottom, but that's just me. To each their own, right? Whatever, whatever winds your hank. That's what I say. All right, I have two more, and now these are both the same. And um, 
we'll go ahead and look at them. Oh, did I tell you how much? This is uh, 1116 um, euros, so um, 10 something US, and it's uh, 4331. Um, if it's 10 something US, making it, if I add my shipping, making it 20 bucks, well worth every penny. All this is worth every penny, including the shipping. Me still trying to justify that shipping cost the whole way, whole way through the video. Wow, my video is long. I'm sorry. I'm almost done here. This is where I bought it from. So I'll put the uh, link below in the description box. Okay, last, I got two more here. This is a Stinley Candy Opal. That red got me. It was the red that got me. Um, and the candy opal, which is which here? Okay, so this is a Christmas color that they had. I get they put it in their Christmas category. So it's called um, from their Christmas sweet selection 7735. I could see how it could be Christmas, it could be considered like a you know, it's red like poinsettia or something. It's beautiful. Yeah, I'd like to start from the center with this one and work my way out. The uh, holo the uh, s the sparkle in this one is like a holographic. You can see that change of colors there. It's not like a straight silver. So the candy opal is um, 85 cotton, 15 lurex. 900 meters, 300 grams. You got about 1,000 yards. Number two weight. Two weight, it says. I'm going to have to probably agree with that one on a two weight. You know what? That could be, you know, that could be considered a lighter three. Now it's a two. Who am I fooling? It's a two. And it has the uh, bead here if you want to use it for beading up your yarn. That's a gorgeous cake of yarn. Um, and these run 1024, so probably nine something US dollars at the moment. It's beautiful, isn't it? And then I got one more of these. I don't know why I got two, but I did. I did. Um, I guess I thought that I had to have this one. And I couldn't live another day without it. I could see why. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous. This is the candy opal, just the one I just showed you. Same specs and everything. But she is, says you can machine wash and lay flat. Um, the 85 cotton, 90 lurex, about 300 grams, about a thousand yards. Ooh, hoo, hoo. That's beautiful. I definitely start from the center on that one, work my way out. Same thing with this one. If I decide to use them, that is gorgeous. So. This one's the same price, 1073 euros, so probably around 10 bucks or a little nine something US. I'm just taking a guess there. Um, the color is 7605. So it's just all colors of pink. And then we got to end in the purple. I like the holographic lyrics that they have in these, uh, the opal ones. Gosh, they got some pretty colors in these. It's very hard to um, pick. That is beautiful. So that's all I got. But man, now that I thought about it and, and, um, cause it was the shipping cost that was really bothering me. But now that I think about it and it, and I double it up, it's still like, these are still cheaper than a lot of the hobby kicks. And, and it, it's personal opinion. I think they're prettier and, um, very much more unique. A lot of them. Let's see, if I had to pick a favorite, it would be very hard to choose. But you know, this one is absolutely, the, uh, Muffin Magic Drops is really calling my name. I think it's that gold in it. It's speaking to me. The Cotton Star Cake definitely is going probably to, uh, to hurt my hands, but it's going to go on my hook. And I love this Christmas one here. So I, I really like Christmas yarn. <laughs> that is beautiful. You know, and you don't just have to make shawls with this. You can make tops and whatever. Um, I like everything I got. This pudding cake is so pretty. I love the colors of this pudding. I don't think they had this one last time I bought pudding cake, so I probably would have got it because I love brown and that or salmon color there just mixes very well with it. Yeah, I'd center start with this one and work my way out if it was a top-down shawl. 
more wrap top. I started to wrap with it. I don't know. And I love the silk one. It's beautiful. It's the definitely. It's very soft. It was definitely worth the money. It's gorgeous. Lots of pretty colors in all these. I'm happy. I'm happy with it all. I love them all. It's not a lot, but maybe next month I'll be able to buy more. Now that I've convinced myself that the shipping is okay. <laughs> okay. I'm going to go. I hope you enjoyed looking at these yarns with me. Um, remember, uh, look for some of these probably in giveaways, especially the lightweight ones I can't use. A few of these I will have to keep and force myself to use the lightweight ones because they're just so dang pretty. See you guys on my next video, okay? Bye, guys.